After you do some editing and click save, you always go to this page right here. Just click domain settings to get back here. And here are your, your home page and your thank you page and your editor buttons. Now after you have your home page all set up, the next thing to do is work on your thank you page. And our templates are set up with two pages, the home and the thank you page. After a website visitor opts in, they enter their contact information here and click this button. What happens is this, their information is stored in the database here. They could get an email that you send directly to them and we'll do that in the next video. And then they are sent to a page that you've decided on and it could be the thank you page or it could be any website page. For example, remember this example here? What we would suggest you do for this website is to change this. You can only have to change the graphic, but the link, when someone clicks on that, it should go directly here. So you capture their contact information first. And if you wanted to, after they opt in here, you could then send them back to the website with this form. You could do that easily. All you do is copy the website address right here and you make a change right here in the opt-in thank you page, the page URL. You just highlight it, paste it there and click update. And if you change that, every time someone enters their contact information, clicks that button, their information is stored and they will be sent directly to this page. However, you could also just work with the thank you page that we have here. Let me show you that. Here is the default thank you page for this particular template. And you can see as a note for them that please check your inbox. I just sent an email to you. And for this home value squeeze page, you can do a couple things. Obviously, you need to gather some of the uh, property information from them. There's a few things that you can do. One of them is just send them an email with questions on it. Another one is to drop a form here with that information. So once they go to this page, you can ask for it. Or you can also, as mentioned earlier, send them directly to a page like that if you have it set up. But to change this, you could do, all you do is again go to the editor and make your changes for your thank you page. And again, you could say, I just sent an email to you. Again, explain to them that they're going to get a custom CMA report, very current. You just need to gather some property information to make an accurate home value report for them. You can also drop a button here if you wanted to do that. Let's say you wanted to have a button, click here to get to the form and you could do that as well and it's easy to drop a, a an image there we'll show you in the videos below on how to use some of these functions up here and you could drop a button on there and then when they click that then they can go to this page you can do that as well all very easy to do so that's it right there that's you that's really step three after you set up your page then you edit your home page step two step three what you want to do to the website visitor after they opt in. So again, you could change the URL and send them directly to any website, or you could just do a little editing on the thank you page. So and, that, and the next thing to do is to set up your autoresponder, and that's the email message that will be sent to a website visitor after they opt in. That's in the next video.